This is Lviv, Ukraine. Also pronounced Lvov, I believe, in Polish. Lviv here is near the border of Poland in western Ukraine. And in this video, you're going to see a lot of really amazing stuff. This city is just truly mind-blowing. And no, this is not what I'm talking about, this scene here. I just uh, walked from the uh, Market Square, just walking along, uh, exploring a little bit, and also trying to find something that I may show if I uh, find it just up ahead here that uh, looks really cool. But I wanted to kind of show some contrast here between the more regular buildings here. I guess I'm not really on the outskirts of town, but there's a park over there and it's kind of more trees and stuff in this neighborhood. But I'm going to walk into the center of the city in the course of this video. You will see a unique city unlike any other that I've seen. Very classic European, but also with its own very uh, distinct character. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of different influences here from the uh, Ukrainian and the Russian and the Polish. I've been in Lviv for two days now. If you saw my last uh, video from here, then you will notice the uh, change in the weather. That was two days ago on a Sunday afternoon. I was wearing a t-shirt. Now I've got like long underwear on. I bought some uh, warmer clothes here in Lviv. Got the uh, warm hat and uh, several layers here. It is mid 40s Fahrenheit, so uh, not super chilly, but uh, getting colder by the day. Winter is on its way. It is October 29th. Let's see if uh, my directions were correct on the Google Maps for what I'm looking for. And I am not seeing it, so... Ah! Excellent. The uh, Yard of Lost Toys. Check this out. So there's some story that goes along with this. It's one of those like random things where like some guy found a kid's stuffed animal and left it here and then other people started leaving it here or something like that. And it's now become a tourist attraction. found out about it on a list of uh, the 21 most interesting things to see in Lviv online, so this is uh, well known, even though it's just somebody's backyard. Alright, let's uh, keep on cruising. I'm going to go back around the same way because I saw a uh, courtyard of a house or a uh, courtyard of a inside of a apartment building complex or whatever that was really cool. Look at all these paintings and photographs. Very uh, interesting. I kind of feel like I'm in somebody's, you know, home almost. So I don't really want to like poke around too much, but uh, very cool.
All right, now, can I uh, get back on the route that I was on walking here? Because there's a lot of interesting sights along the way and I, oh yeah, that way. But I uh, thought that I would show this little square here first. This city is just so jam packed with little streets and squares and fountains and parks and restaurants and cathedrals, very old buildings. And today is my last day here in Lviv, flying tomorrow, heading north, deeper into the winter. The uh, pretty awesome mural up there. Now, I will be getting into the more uh, central part of the city and the more typical things to see in a few blocks heading towards Market Square, which is where I started my video yesterday. And so I'm going to walk through it again because it is worth uh, showing once again and then keep walking a little bit uh, further past there. A uh, church here, looks like. Look at this. Food and good. Can't argue with that. Today is October 30th. Tomorrow is Halloween. So you can see more restaurants popping up as it gets into the uh, tourist zone. I don't know what this says or even what language it's in. So the uh, most common language of Ukraine is Ukrainian. 70% of Ukrainians speak Ukrainian as their first native language and about 30% speak Russian and some also speak Polish. 1988, it says up there, before the Soviet Union fell. So that is a definite Soviet era thing there. The same year that a devastating earthquake hit Armenia, speaking of ex-Soviet countries, I was just in Armenia a few days ago, flew from Yerevan, Armenia, here to uh, Lviv. Okay, what's going on here? I have no idea. Just a uh, random water pump. I wouldn't drink that. Oh, it's oil actually. Oil pump, okay. Девочка, 
Another one. Weird. What the heck is this all about? I don't know. I hadn't even uh, walked by this before. I was just walking the other way. Some sort of scientific display, I guess. Looks like a really cool bar or coffee shop or whatever. Okay, I think I'll keep on cruising down the uh, same lane. Almost to Market Square here. The Viv largest postcard collection. And it smells so good in there. And here we go, one of the central squares of the Viv. The Market Square, although it also is called like Ronick Square, I think. There are a couple of squares. So in the last video, then I walked along the uh, street down there and went out that way. I saw a uh, church up there. I think I'll head that way. So the uh, square here was first constructed in around 1200 AD, so about 800 years old. And lots of historic buildings, of course. What is it? Parfum. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. It smells nice. Uh, okay, okay. So, I don't know what it says there, but uh, I guess the uh, address or name of the uh, business. It smells nice. So, a uh, topic of discussion I was thinking of to uh, mention in this video for something to uh, talk about while uh, walking along here is why don't I go to Poland? And not just why don't I go to Poland, but uh, why don't I go to Russia or why don't I go to Sub-Saharan Africa or why don't I go to Brazil or why don't I go to Antarctica or Australia or New Zealand or all of the other places that I haven't been to yet. Because this is a, a common thing. People will say, well, why haven't you been to this place? Why haven't you been to that place? Why are you avoiding? People will often say that like, why are you avoiding this particular country? And the uh, simple answer is 
I'm not avoiding anywhere, I'm just going where I feel like going. A coin collection here. Peter Gabriel in Russian. Beatles, a stuck cat. <laughs> And so, uh, I can only be in one place at one time. That's basically the answer, is I'm just going to certain places that I've heard about that I am curious to visit, whether they're new countries or countries I've been to before, even though I've been to a lot of countries and I will oftentimes go back to them because I've heard about other places that I want to visit in that country or I want to revisit a place that I really liked the last time and just want to hang out there again because it's a nice place and so there's just no uh, specific answer of like why don't I go to Poland it's right next door it's only like 30 or 40 miles away or something actually there is kind of a specific reason Mostly it's just a matter of, there are other places I want to go to as well. And so I'm choosing to uh, go to those places and not go to other places. But also, one reason I'm probably not going to go to Poland once again on this trip is simply because it is so European. I'm actually going to a country that I've been to before, tomorrow. I'm flying there to meet a friend, and so that is a specific reason why I'm going to that country. Also because I'm in the mood for some real winter, which is of course descending on all of Europe at this point, but, or at least Northern Europe. And so I'm going to this other country, partly to uh, meet a friend and partly to uh, just go further north. And then I will most likely skip visiting Poland. Not because I don't want to see it. I do want to see it. It looks really amazing. But there are other places I want to see as well. And I have to choose one place at a time. And from what I've seen of Poland, then it looked very typically European. And because of that, because I've seen so much of Europe, then I'm not feeling particularly drawn to uh, go to Poland right now because I'm thinking of going to some other places beyond Europe after this uh, trip further north over the next like maybe week or two and then I will uh, plan to get out of Europe and I just don't really feel like uh, spending a couple weeks or whatever in, in Poland right now I'll save it for another time <laughs> So this is the uh, Market Square again, which I showed in the other video and uh, walked down there. So I will walk back down this way. My hotel is just up here on the right. And so as far as why I don't travel to Sub-Saharan Africa or Brazil or Russia, or other places I haven't been to yet that definitely sound amazing and worth visiting. It's just a matter of I chose somewhere else for some other reason because there's just a lot of the world to see and I'm just going to places, one country, one city at a time and that's the only way you can do it. So 
My uh, hotel is right up there. So I'll keep on walking this way a little bit further, just show a bit more. of this incredibly fascinating city with so much to see. I'm only showing a few blocks basically in this video of a uh, large city. So it is a ultimate place to uh, just walk and explore and see what you come across. Not all cities are like that. Some cities, the uh, buildings are not all that different. You can like see down the street and it just kind of looks all, you know, modern buildings and um, it's not gonna be very interesting like discoveries, random little shops and like the uh, various things that I've shown in this video so far. Not all cities are like this. This is definitely somewhere very unique. Each block has a different something to check out. There are so many like surprises around each corner here. What a church. I've been inside a lot of churches and that was definitely something else. It's hard to decide which way to go with so much to see in every direction. here awesome завтра ходи ходи вона це чекає Володя Дарі. Володя! Якщо 150, то виходить 330. I'm actually looking for something. I need a scarf. Some sort of a uh, warm thing for the neck. Also maybe a new hat. A 
something a little warmer than this uh, Alaska hat that like covers the ears better. And this is definitely the place. The big question is, how do I stop this video when there's just more to see, just keep on walking, keep on filming. I could just walk around the city for like an hour or two and it would all be really cool. So something else I thought that I would address in this video is why didn't I do more research and why am I not talking about uh, more of the history and the uh, architecture and whatnot. And the answer is I wasn't even planning on recording a video today because I made the other one and it's my last day here and I was thinking of just walking around exploring and uh, sort of taking a break. But then I got out and started walking around and I headed for that uh, yard of the toys because I had read about it and was curious to check it out. And once I got over there then I was like, I gotta record a video today and show more of this incredible city and so I just didn't do much research and uh, partly the reason is just because being a uh, travel vlogger especially posting as much as I do three four five videos a week or even more almost every day sometimes then it's just very full-on and making a big like city tour video going to all the main uh you know tourist sites to see and like covering all the city and doing your advanced research and then also the editing is a very big undertaking and i've done tons of those videos over the years and sometimes I'm just not really in the mood for it. Especially when I've been posting regularly, doing lots of editing. And filming and everything that is required to uh, make these videos happen. And so I just wasn't up for the task of a big informed tour of Lviv and so this is what you get and I'm hoping it's better than nothing at least
So I wanted to show a little bit more at the end of the video here. Some really cool stuff. So uh, some nice restaurants here. Look at this place, really cozy looking. That's cool. And then check out the outside of this church. Just absolutely incredible. Very gothic style, I guess. And then I'm going to walk back through the Market Square area and show something else that I randomly came across. Okay, where is it? There was a random alley that I walked down, right up here, I think. on this wall. I'm assuming that is a map of Ukraine on this brick wall. How old is this? Wow. 